What's up guys, it's Dragonfly Mike 77 I'm going to be doing a review on the Bohemian glass vases that I picked up from Hookah Store. Um, some of you guys see them popping up on trade sections. Um, Alvin does have some on his warehouse. But I just wanted to illustrate why these are so much superior and just more aesthetically pleasing than the stock vases you get with the hookahs. Um, as you can see, I have a jumbo, the disc, and then just a normal Egyptian bell. Uh, I'm going to end up zooming in, showing you the detail work on the glass um, right there, the actual clarity of clarity of the glass, and some nice little features that these vases have that the stock stock vases don't have. Alrighty, guys, uh, I'm going to flash away to a zoom in clip, and I'll start talking about it. All right, guys. All right, the first thing I notice about these is the gold trim right here um, on a lot of stock bases. You rub it a couple times, take a paper towel to it, it rubs right off. Uh, that does not happen with these whatsoever. Um, over time, I heard that it can wear away, but that's when you don't take care of it. When you get water on it, you don't really wipe it off or anything. Um, that can be easily prevented. You know, if you dump out the water, just wipe this down or even put something so the water doesn't drip down on it. Um, that'll help out. But now to the actual painting on the vase. If you can tell, that's actually raised up. That's nice and thick. It's got a lot of texture to it. Um, it's incredible detail. It goes all the way around. There's no mistakes. As you can see, I mean, you see the detail in the painting itself. And you go down, it's got a nice gold rim. Comes down. Now there's three of these that trace up like that along it. And they're nice and even, they match up. You don't have one that's too high or too low. They really are nice and even with one another, which a lot of times on stock bases that doesn't happen whatsoever. Now, this is my favorite part. This is, if I recall correctly, um, a Nisbor Bohemian glass, which a lot of the Nisbors have this band on it, and you can see the detail work in that. I mean, that's that's phenomenal, and it goes all the way around it. You get a couple of those, but none of this paint wears off whatsoever. As I said, over time it may, but. I can rub on this all day long and just it's going to stay nice. Also what's nice about these vases is when you put water in them the crystal really gives it a good shine with the water in it that you don't really get from stock vases. Um, this is one of the things that's gorgeous when it's just sitting there but when you're actually smoking it and you see the smoke in the, cham in the vase chamber and just the water that comes up, it's it's absolutely gorgeous. There's nothing that can compare to it. Alright, now that you guys have seen the red one, I'll show you the jumbo real quick. Now the jumbo um, is a sought after bohemian crystal vase. Personally, I like the Egyptian bells better. Uh, but the jumbos are made for really, really tall hookahs. Um, a perfect example of that is the Admiral. Um, the crystal vases are actually a lot heavier than stock vases because they have a percentage of lead oxide in them, which gives it, you know, an extra weight to it. Um, if I recall correctly, the Bo Bohemian glass, uh, the Nisbors have 24% lead oxide in them. So you really do get extra sturdiness with it. The jumbos themselves have that looks scratched up. It's not really that scratched up on the bottom. It it has a few, but it's still in excellent condition. But as I was saying, um, the jumbos are made for taller hookahs. Uh, a lot of people like the wheat, just the normal wheat Kaliwa Moon 
on jumbos. I'm not really a big fan of that. I feel that a big vase deserves a big stem. And that's what the jumbo is. The jumbo is just absolutely huge. It holds more water than any one of the vases that I have ever owned. Um, as you can see, it's got that nice gold painting on it. It's got frost on it, which when water gets on it, it turns clear, but you don't really want to get too, too much water on these because if you have hard water, I've noticed that they can accumulate spots on them that are very, very, very hard to actually clean off. Um, so just if you notice the frosting, getting a lot of water on it or anything like that, wipe it down with a towel and you should be fine. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the disc or genie. Now, despite the fact that the red one is my favorite, this is probably the nicest base I own. Um, again, I can rub all I want, that's not coming off. But the band on this is just phenomenal. It's got so much detail work in it. Looks like I'm getting unfocused. It's got so much detail work in it. It's just absolutely gorgeous on the entire thing. It comes down. Now this this is where it's just phenomenal. It is. I mean, look, look at that detail work. And what's nice is this doesn't come off. With stock vases, you know, I've never had one that the paint actually stayed on it well and looked good. Um, I've had ones that look okay, you know, but eventually the paint always comes off. With these, they really can't stand the test of time. These ones, the genies are supposed to be more rare than the other ones. Um, if you are interested in getting one of these, I'm not really sure where to tell you to get one. Just check out trade sections of the forums because uh, people really like to hold on to these. Alvin, I'm pretty sure, is out of the clear ones. He could have other ones, but, I mean, don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. But, as usual, it's got the sticker on it. Handmade Bohemian Czech Republic. I got all of these at hookahstore.com. Uh, if you are interested in seeing if Alvin has the one you want in stock, go to his website, uh, click on hookahs and then Khalil Mamoon, and you should see a section that says crystal on it. Click that, go through it, email him the number that you liked and the hookah you liked, and check to see if it's actually in stock. Because um, I, I know these are becoming more scarce as time goes on. But on a side note, these are better for Syrian hookahs or Maya hookahs. These don't really, I do have a cafe on here, Cafe Khalil, but um, it is very tight and the stem goes way down low in it, but it still smokes great. But uh, the opening on the Genies is a lot smaller than on my other two bases. But I think that's it. Um, I'm gonna zoom out and show you what they all look like one more time. Get them nice and even. Those are my three Nisbor Bohemian glass crystal bases. I got each one from Alvin at Hookah Store. I highly recommend going and picking one of these up. I guarantee it, it'll be It'll knock your stock base out of the water and you'll have just an absolute wonderful, wonderful hookah. All right, I think that's it, guys. Uh, it's Dragonfly Mike 77 Please subscribe to my YouTube page and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.